G'day mate, welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. So, today's plan, today's mission, today's uh, everything. Today's everything is to wall off this whole section here and reserve it for power. Um, pretty much that's the plan. Uh, it's going to start with a substation right about there. Okay, maybe a few tiles closer. There. And lasers. And we're going to copy and paste that a few times, uh, like uh, so. And make sure it hooks up to existing power. And drop a RoboPort here, behind this one. And then... Hang on. Fine. No. Okay, fine. Uh, drop that down and then put a new robo port. Really? You chose that second to unpower? Put down a new robo port. And. Okay, you're going to go there. And hopefully I can get this one to line up with. Why, why did that... Okay, you're one laser short. No. Alright, uh, we're going to put you there. And then we'll space you roughly in the middle. Okay, that's my blueprint. Uh, copy that. Get rid of the one small power pole. Create blueprint. And the idea is we're going to copy and paste this. All the way around. <laughs> okay, muted in time for a sneeze. Okay, uh, paste this all the way around. I want to... Does that look right? Yeah, that looks right. Um, I want to paste this all the way around the base. I want to cover myself all the way out to the very, very, like, out here somewhere. And then all the way back up. At the same time, I do need to put down radars, which I should craft more of. Where the hell... Okay, that's probably dead. Alright, more problems. Radar there. Okay, no, it survived. Just uh, research. Oh, actually, research. Alright, so I only want to do vanilla research, okay? So, going from the top of the list, uh, modded, 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 modded. Not modded. Combat Robotics, Flow Robot Cat. Um, modded. Technically modded, but I'm going to get it anyway, only because I have the previous ones. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to get it anyway. I haven't started the research. These are the ones I've started. Uh, speed modules, prod mods, and efficiency module 4s are all part of Factor Extended. So, again, modded. Uh, space Assembly is part of Space X. Uh, combat Robotics, we've already selected. Physical damage, six we're already doing. Uranium ammo. Uh, technically, mining productivity three is vanilla. So that just leaves atomic bomb. Atomic bomb is the last research that we need to do. Um, at which point we can call vanilla research done. Which I am desperately waiting for. Okay. That brings us out to here somewhere, which I am now going to... Rotate this blueprint twice and hopefully you line up beautifully at the corner. You do. And those two robots should touch one another. I want to put a radar here, which I'm still going to have gaps in radar coverage, but it's better than nothing. And then continue up around this forest. And where the hell do you line up? Uh, you line up there. And there. And actually, that's more than enough. So, then we're going to clear off all of that forest. We're going to copy our concrete. 
We're going to run our concrete forward to our wall. And then, more importantly, I'm going to copy that and paste these out. So that way the wall... The wall that features no wall can be built from both ends. It just features lots of lasers. But because we have power sorted, we can just copy and paste our nuclear builds. I don't really have to worry about power anymore. Um, if we ever find out we're close to the limit, we just throw down another nuclear build. Covrex is up and running. Uh, do I have Roboports on me? No. Okay. So there's very little point in me chopping down any trees. But yeah, th if if that's done, that should get us, uh, that should cover us, so to speak. Um, now, where, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for this. This is our one laser, uh, our one laser build that could, which could do with a upgrade, like so. Done. And same time, do you upgrade? No, you don't upgrade. You can be red belt, you can be red belt. Cool. And you can have a power pole right about there. All right, so that'll make lasers just slightly faster than it was prior. Uh, same story, we should probably upgrade this. This might put a shortage in our robot building capability, but it should be okay. Um, and we can definitely see from our bus the fact that copper really doesn't make it past here. We're maxed out. Um, this bus is done and there's nothing else we can really do. Red circuits are going slightly better. We're now running this one, this one, and this one at full speed. And our last uh, speed module build has a trickle. And as for Covrex process, it's up and running at full speed. It's actually up and running at full speed enough. I can remove those because the box is not full, but the next, like, you know couple of rotations we're going to start actually having free i oh, actually speaking of that no i started those on requests so the box is full well not full but has stuff in it uh i want to request 300 of those because that's part of my next project uh i want to take auto save that request down to 50 so i have less crap in my inventory uh run through here now it's all concrete it's not nearly as bad uh dump those in there okay come on run through this crap uh 10k you pump a 10k don't you or you pump if if petroleum is less than 10k you pump okay so we probably want to do this to make sure our oil supply doesn't run out. Now I can see pump jacks are not running, even though they are hooked up. So it's not a crude problem yet, but I'm about to do this, which means it could become a crude problem very, very quickly. Uh, same time I want to do, hmm. do this so we're going to speed module our cracking even further uh, which means I need to get through here I need to put in oh who cares they're small power poles just dump them everywhere yeah I know there's, there's definitely one of you who's down in the comments right now screaming at me for my use of small power poles and the way I indiscriminately just dump them everywhere. Like I said, don't care. They're small power poles. They can always be ripped up and refined later. Okay, uh, next thing I want to do is I have a lot of things that are not being actively put into the network. Like gears. Uh... Uh, so I want to move that power pole there to there. I want to put, no, nope, I want to put a loader into a box. I want to cap that at that many. 
And I want to copy that configuration because I want to put one. He'll do. So this prioritizes that it goes through the belt first, and it's only if there's a backup on the belt do we pull some out and put them in storage. Um, that's the idea at least. Are you ever going to have a backup? Not really. We're really pushing everything to max. Uh, same, whoop, same story here. We'll do one for copper. Uh, I want to do one for green circuits. That's already done. I want to do one for red circuits. Which we're going to slot in there. Because that seemed like a good spot for it. I need to do blue circuits. I need to start requesting iron. Copper. Uh, gears. Green, no. Green circuits. Red circuits. Uh, blue circuits. Not that I really need blue circuits. But you know. Better to have the whole collection. Gotta catch them all. Uh, or collect them all. Gotta collect them all. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's all the basics requested. Uh, I do need iron done. What now? Ah, shit. Fine, we'll go deal with the problem. Yoink. Yoink. Uh, it's probably actually faster for me to run up there. Sorry, hang on. Just looking at engines. No, not quite. We don't have quite enough engines. Okay. <sighs> Stop eating my base. Uh, and you're not done with mining drones. You're actually done with real miners. Which is a shame. Because that's going to be harder for me to fix. Way harder. Watch all the robots die as they wander across acid because they're stupid. Aren't you all? You're all stupid. Uh... Yeah, I could do with more lasers. And unfortunately more miners, which I didn't bring with me. Are you out of resources? Yes. That's one miner. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, nobody's out of resources. Okay. Well, that's the best we're going to get for right at the moment. Um, I'm just going to have to come up here at some later stage with more miners. Uh, oh, steel. Actually, steel's not on the in the network either so that's something else i should request uh steel um boom, 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 boom. uh that can go away that can go into the military build which is there uh steel Okay, done. Alright, so with that done, uh, this episode, what I really want to do is I want to start exponentially increasing the speed of the base. Um, and the way I want to do that is I want to tap into uh, this copper patch and this iron patch. And... One, two, one, two. Uh, yeah, I want to tap into both of these. I also want to... Grab some more concrete and do a little bit of a paint of the whole ore patch. Do do roughly just rough this in a little bit and then fill the inside so it all it's all gonna be concreted. At least that's the hope. Uh, okay, and that bit as well. Alright, so I want to put one of these guys down. I want to put it right there, because that's going to cover everything. 
uh, set you to copper and fill you through full of mini people. Uh, same time, I want to do this iron, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to force the mining people to run across the... Uh, across the belts. I um, also need to do the exact same. Fill this in, rough out the outside of this with concrete. I'm willing to bet there's a mod out there that does this. If not, there's a free mod suggestion for you. If you want to make a mod. Probably only really benefits if somebody's running these mining drones, at which point they can choose to concrete the ground so the mini means run a little bit faster because they're running on concrete. But you know, either that or somebody who really likes to show off like, this is where an ore patch was. It's gone base aid it this is where another one was it's gone base aid that one too all right so that's the plan uh mine this mine this now once we've mined both of those out uh i want to have three of those and i want to have three of these because that's about as much as we can pull from them according to these guys yeah technically that's pulling out a blue belt but I think it's only a red belt in a little bit because it actually runs through a smelter and then a little bit of excess goes into concrete, which surprisingly we don't have a lot of. Probably doesn't help that I keep paving the world bit by bit by bit. Okay, so, um, yeah, I, I figure I can pull three red belts out of them, maybe a little bit more because we do have some more research now. Um, but we'll start with three. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to grab a smelter block. And the reason I'm grabbing my old smelter block rather than the new smelter design is this brings up coal from the bottom. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the upgrade planner that I recently deleted, we need back. That one for that one, that one for that one, that one for that one. We want to go from that to that. And then swipe. And also means we're going to need power, which I am... I'm not out of power poles yet. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, also means roboports. Roboport there. Roboport here. Report as close as possible. Uh, report up the other end somewhere. Uh, okay. Uh, underground belt there. And over here, I want a loader. And red belt out. And just before the pipes. Yeah, there's pipes. Oops. We want to run the pine belt uh, this away. Oh, beautiful. Look, I'm a, a professional player right there. Line it up from miles away. Okay. That, 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 that. Where? Oh, really? Biters, you're just getting annoying. You're getting really annoying. Look, this one is, it has a tasty, juicy radar. You didn't even touch it. Okay. Uh, I still have an automated radar. So I need to do that still. I keep saying I need to do it and then do nothing about it. All right. You're going to put a radar in uh, your covered in acid. So that means it's probably a good spot for a radar. Uh, bot. Thanks. Okay. So, this is going to give us... Oh, no. Actually, before I do that, I need to physically hook up the belts. So, belt one. Belt two. Belt three. Uh, 
Uh, iron... You know what? We can just build straight over the copper patch. I like it. It's probably one of the main reasons I chose to keep the mining drones, or chose to have the mining drones, is just it makes the logistics of outposting that much easier. And if you've been watching for a while, you know, I, I just... I, I really sort of despise outposting. Uh, there's no challenge to it. There's nothing... There's nothing special about it. It's literally normally just dump down a train track, dump down a station that you've probably got blueprinted, dump down some miners, and then set and forget. So, yeah, I... The idea of just being able to go out and put out one, two, three of these things, hook them up to some loaders and a train step, a train stop, and just filling them with little people seems so much better to me. Anyway, uh, okay, so... No, you can't go there. You can go there, but... Okay, so we have power, we have radars. Uh, power. We have power, we have rover ports. Uh, you're just red because you're just recharging. Uh, all right. Blueprints. Uh, back to my paste. That's what I want. I want one of these. Because I think this will solve our biter problem. Uh, right across the top, please. Uh, we have substations in stock, so it should get built fairly quickly. We just need 10,000 more robots to show up. Uh, so uranium ammo, then mining productivity, and then nukes. And then I'm pretty sure... Uh, hang on. Nope, technically follow a robot count six. That counts. So that's it. After those researches are done, we are done with vanilla tech. Um, okay, what's next? What's next is I need to put these smelters to use. So what I want to do is I want to do something like this. Uh, they're the pieces I need. Roboport can go right there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to make some really effective green circuit builds. Um, main reason I want to do that is, well, lots of reasons. But um, the most common reason is the fact I want lots of green circuits, okay? Um, green circuits are really what's going to hold this base up. Green circuits, red circuits, blue circuits, modules. Um, we want some serious module production before this series is, well, before this series is done and we move on to the subscriber special. Because I said this would be the last week. So the plan is to try and get this done. Um, some really insane module production as part of this base. So then this can become a foundation for newer base. Uh, that's probably... No, it looked like I got almost enough researches done. Uh, that can go away. Uh, lasers. We have zero lasers in stock. Uh, yeah, they're still waiting for lasers to get popped down everywhere. Uh, and I should have put... I think I put a radar down there. Maybe I didn't. But I need a radar there, radar there. And power-wise, we're good. Okay, so can we get this built, please? Uh, I don't have substations. You know what? We're at the point where I'm going to request substations. It's just handy to have a couple on me. That's not a substation. I need the substations in. I need the modules in. Uh, we're not short on modules, which is a good sign. We are short on 601 concrete, which is all of this and all of that. Um, but bots will get that placed slowly over time. Module production, uh, concrete production. Uh, actually, you know what? We could do that. Uh, and you've been upgraded. That needs to be not on the ground. Uh, I need the modules in the machines as well, please. Can we do a global request for those and those? Cool. Hey, power. Now I just need the modules. Uh, 
and probably that substation wouldn't hurt, but like I will settle for shitty power poles. Okay, I need the modules, and then we're good to experiment with how to get this built. Because my uh, plan is to use my new three lanes, and really? You're rude. Uh, my new three lanes of iron and copper, and I have left room to potentially bring this down and no, well, probably not because of the acid line. Maybe I should have planned that out a little bit better. One, two, three. No, it turns out I can fit three more. Uh, I have no idea what I just un undid. Okay. Um, yeah, so plan is to potentially take this out another three lanes south, another three lanes north to fit in uh, a total of six lanes of copper and six lanes of iron. So, max rate calculator. Max rate calculator, run these over these. We can see we're going to use about 11 copper in and about 11 iron in. Now, in saying that, we can see right here they're at negative 0.017 machines. So, it's not quite a one-to-one -one ratio for the copper cable to the iron. So, we're not going to use quite 11, but these belts output 30. So if I bank on 10, 10, and 10 for three sets of machines to run a full belt, it means they're gonna produce probably around about 15, 15, and 15, being probably around about 30 green circuits. So that's our intention, that's our plan. And what I wanna do is I wanna paste that there, there, and there. And then we're gonna to wanna to put uh, couple of <sighs> a couple of belts to bring in our iron uh, do the exact same with our copper nope that doesn't have it go away uh, Bring that belt through there, and then bring it in like so. Uh, bring that in like so, bring that through there, and that through there. Okay, now, because I've been using them up until now, I'm gonna keep using them because they just simplify my life a whole lot. A loader, which is technically in Vanilla Factorio, even though the devs have then, since making loaders, decided they didn't wanna have loaders in the game, and then, decided never to release it, but they do technically exist in the editor mode. Just saying, um, I'm gonna use loaders because this loader is designed to move 30 items per second from a belt into a machine. It just simplifies life again. And like I said, this series is gonna lead into the subscriber special, which is all about big numbers, big, big, big numbers because currently there's over five and a half thousand of you guys that have hit the subscribe button and more are coming in every day. And I do thank you, thank you guys, every single one of you who stops and clicks the subscribe button. Hence, new series starting end of this series, we're gonna carry this space forward into it, is all about celebrating you guys. But the goal I set out for myself, um, which I'm not gonna tell you about, not until the new series starts. The goal I set out for myself, I thought it was pretty big, but I didn't really do the maths beforehand. And now I've realized exactly how big it's going to be. Um, so it's going to be a challenge even for me at the speed I build at to try and get through everybody launched during the time period I've set myself because it's also somewhat time limited for a change. So I'm going to use the advantage of using loaders because I can. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to... I want to bring... I want to bring that over there. I want to bring that over there. Uh, can we stop that, please? Uh, that's not going to work. Okay, hang on. Let's get rid of that. Let's move you down a top. Gives me a bit more wiggle room. Uh, let's move you down a tile as well. It's not going to change the speed because it still covers both machines. Uh, 
Yes, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to bring that one up, that one across. Then jump that to there. You're outputting 15. You're outputting 15. Merge the two together. Gives us a belt of 30. And then when it gets to here, it should be a belt of 45, roughly. Roughly speaking. Which then means I need blue belt, which I can upgrade that one at least. But then I want blue belt length on the way out. Use upgrade plan to do that one. And that then takes two belts of iron and copper and turns it into a crap load being 45 green circuits. And then in theory, we're going to do that and that. And all I have to do is bring this iron belt up and tag it in there and throw a robot port down wherever robot ports required there and there uh, can we get just put down thank you bring this belt up okay over top. Need to bring this belt up as well. So many trees in the way. So many combatrons in the way. Put that in there. Uh, okay. And then I need to do the exact same with the copper. Uh, Bring that in there. Bring that in there. Oops. Uh, there, 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 and there. Okay. I can't help myself. Okay, so this should give me a crap ton of green circuits out the top. Now, what to do with a crap ton of green circuits? Uh, the answer is more plastic. Um, a lot more plastic. Uh, you're maxed out petroleum. You still have oil left. Excellent. I'm glad we upgraded you. Because we're going to try and find a way to get more plastic out of this build. Uh, we're gonna... Here. Yeah, I do have some space here. Okay, so this gives up me 40, uh, yeah, 45, 45, 90, 135, 135 plastic per minute. Okay, that's not fair. That's cool ganging up. Can we not do that? Do I have lasers? No, I don't have lasers. Okay, now at the point I need to request lasers myself. Uh just so I have some on me so when this happens I can go fix it probably should request miners so the next time I'm out here I can actually fix the that problem too uh... bad spitters Go on, wander across the mass and get yourself killed. Yep. Yep. You all done now? You know what? Maybe this is just the answer. Just wander up to this and just... I have an SMG. That's it. Uh, nades. Nope. No nades. Hey, go away, biter. Bad biter. More bad biter. Bad biter. Solved. Doesn't change the fact half the miners are missing. Uh, I can craft 13. Mm. Yeah, because you guys are not getting acid. You know, your belt's not hooked up.
mine is replaced? Yes, I have a couple of spares. Okay. So I fixed that problem at least. Uh, I probably don't have any Compatrons. I have 10. Yeah, we need some Compatrons. Uh, and I need more lasers, it turns out, still. And I need more copper looking at that belt. Yeah, still. Okay. Uh, can we just prune that whole forest, please? Thank you. Hey, I love that. Just take flight. Take flight, forest disappear. Okay, so we've got a bunch more green circuits, like I was saying. Next stop is more plastic. Uh, that forest can go away too. And for this, I do want to start using modules. I want to start minimizing my impact on my coal and my... Uh, that's, good. That's, that's a really horrible build for modules. Um, okay, so we're going to have to improve this build. Best way of doing that. Running coal down the center. Okay. Um... I want to start minimizing the impact on my raw resources. Same as we did elsewhere in the base. Uh, sorry, that goes there, that goes there. Okay, then we're going to use longhand inserters. There and there. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Do I have modules? According to this, I do. Are we in robot range? We are. Excellent. All right. So I want to have items go out this way. Coal come in this way. Uh, then basically duplicate the whole thing. Like so. No. Like down one tile. So. Yes. And then plastic comes out here. We merge our two plastic belts together and our coal belt jumps over to get down the middle. Something like that. All right, now I need chem plants to show up so I can module them. Uh, that didn't last long. On the way, 50 logistic storage. We do have 115 of those. Good, because I'm going to want a heap of those shortly. Uh, also need radars. Actually, let's just, whilst I keep saying it, let's actually just go do it. Let's just go automate radars, uh, which is green circuits, gears, and iron. No, it's only the ones with modules that are making stuff. Good. All right. So green circuit, iron, gears. You. I'm now going to make those with an input there and a power pole there and that chest is going to get emptied and you're going to get dumped to storage and really holy crap we're maxed out of rent circuits That's a funny sound when you walk over coal. Uh, just, this is annoying. The fact that I just killed them all off and then some more showed up. I don't know where from, but they just showed up. You done? You done? Gotta be all the way up there. Or there. Which probably means more attacks are gonna count. Which is still annoying. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, minus 1. So it gives me 30 Compatrons. That can go away, that can go away. I've got some miners on me finally. I got pipe for my next visit up there. <sighs> okay, back to try and get plastic to work. Back in the way, back in the way, back in the way. Can I just set that to zero finally? All right. Modules. Uh, tier one modules. 
upgrade plan. Okay. You guys are going to put in 88... Uh, no, hang on. Let's do... How big is this? This is eight of them. So let's do eight of these guys. Seven, eight. Eight do... 860, 16. You do 88 rather than 160 for 11. Because you're running slow because of the modules. Uh, or slow because... Yeah, the modules. Uh, if we use bigger beacons... And we do that. It's close. It's not quite. You now do 51. 51 is a little bit too much. We don't need 51. We need a blue belt. Yes. So we need you to do 20. You need to do 45. So you need to do 22 and a half. Uh, so half that amount, really. So if that's eight, four of you. 26. Done. Uh, so that end of the build can go. Which means that end of the beacons can go. Uh, I said you can go. Which means you can have modules. And it should mean if I run max rate over that, you're doing 26. And if I copy that and I put that... There without the pipe. So that I don't have any beacons on me. Uh, power. No, nah, small power poles. I'm going to keep using them until I run out of them. Uh, that goes there, that goes there. Underground pipe there to there. Uh, don't I have, I do have modules on me, so that much I can do. Okay, so now if we run that, we're now going to get 53 plastic in for 400 petroleum and 20 coal, compared to the original build, which was 24, 480 for 48. Technically, we're still producing too much. Is that better? No, that's not enough. Uh, but you get the picture. We're now using a whole bunch less petroleum for technically more plastic out. So that goes there. Uh, we're going to bring that petroleum pipe in. We're going to put power there to there. We need to get coal up the middle, which means running all the way back to our poor coal depot that is probably running at flat out speeds. 27, so no it's not. And it's not even running on concrete. We'll just speed those guys up a little bit. So I want... You're kidding me. That's just annoying. Okay, if I bring this coal belt up and tag it in there, which means I can take this coal belt this way. And <sighs> massive belts, massive belts, massive belts. Uh, okay, realistically, tag that into there. Run that that away. Did that laser show up yet? It did. Good problem solved. We're just going to end up turning this whole base into Fort Knox. I'm, I'm just going to get sick of all the biters that just keep showing up and nibbling on things. And I'm just going to end up just wrapping the whole lot in lasers. Uh, okay, you can come this way. 
down into there. And then if I bring plastic up from behind and put it in there, that just simplifies the whole build. Okay. So it's going to give us a crap ton of plastic. We have a crap ton of green circuits. The next thing we want to do, which we're definitely going to be doing in the next episode because I got run out of time with all the biter attacks, is going to be a crap ton of red circuits. Uh, and then possibly a crap ton of blue circuits because that's really what point we're at. Um, more module production is really the only thing we can strive for at this time. Uh... So we're more prepared when we go into the next series. Uh, that and more lasers. More lasers, more guns, more more everything. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right. Bye.